we're back here yeah. and of course uh, my 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 crew this morning uh, dearest uh, shito muftal uh, is the one laughing behind us saying there doing a great job so if you see me looking funny he's the one doing <laughs> doing the job and of course the entire team is in the studio this morning let me appreciate um, uh, our dearest Elijah Moshud who is also live in the studio with me this morning and of course Mr. Sonia Diogo is also here so let's celebrate the entire camera crew of MITV well let's talk about um, this rediscovering yourself after a loss I found that a lot of people just lose themselves. I have a little sister right now. Mm -hmm. We are also, we actually share the sister. She's also your little sister. She's uh, going through a loss. And uh, I found that from the moment that happened to her last week, she has been like in a bubble. Mm -hmm. She's finding it really difficult to come out of it. So when you came mm -hmm. up with this, I said, fantastic idea. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this. A lot of people lose their parents, lose spouses. Mm -hmm and they just lose themselves yeah. and they go on a downward spiral from there. Ah, I'll say mm -hmm. that um, on a daily basis, people lose something, True. people lose someone. And then um, you have lost something there to you. I have mm. also. Oh, I so um, if you mm. count one, two, three, you know, bringing it home, mm -hmm. loss is um, happening at one on time a daily basis. or another. <clears throat> and um, we should not underrate people's um whatever it is someone says i have lost because a loss will always be a loss okay mm -hmm. the fact that it hasn't happened to you doesn't mean you should um um undermine it or look away from it so um the question is it has happened it has happened so how do i either recover okay and then how do i cope with it while mm -hmm. I am on the journey to recovery. Mm. Now, recovery is mm. not automatic. Definitely. It takes it a while, depending on the situation and depending on the individual. And it also depends on the environment. Now because you there are some environments that will never, ever help you recover. Because mm. it just keeps grounding you, grounding you, till you become submerged. Mm. So um, I'll say that to recover, is very possible because mm. people ask the question can this person ever recover mm. will i ever recover i'm saying that to recover is very possible but you may not forget about the loss mm. yes mm. So, you know it's just like the scar will be there but the you'll pain, see it but the pain will be gone will be gone okay, okay? okay. but the scar will be there okay. because everything that happens to us comes to leave a vacuum okay so even when you try to fill up it may not be exactly the same you know so people need to come to that actualization so the first thing is accept the loss the situation it happened don't live in denial mm -hmm. don't wish uh you know you're dreaming or you don't want to come out of it and all of that so accept it because when we get to the point of acceptance, because when we're talking about the grief, um, grieving when it comes to a loss, the first thing is people live in denial because mm. of the shock and okay. because of the situation. Okay. People begin to blame themselves. Maybe there was something I ought to have done I didn't do, I didn't do. or this or that. Mm -hmm. Then people now start to settle in to the reality of the loss. But what we're saying is it doesn't matter how long or what happened to me, what I'm saying is accept the reality. The reality. That you've thing, lost something, first of all. I have lost something. Hmm. So, the next thing I say is that own it. Okay. Now, when I say own it, I'm not saying let it define you. Okay. Owning it is my loss. Mm -hmm. Don't push the responsibility on another. To other people. Hmm. Because, um, fine, let's assume the death of a loved, loved one. Mm -hmm. This person belongs to you own it mm -hmm. the situation happened to you own, own it. it nobody was responsible for it mm -hmm. take it that way because around here we love to pass the buck the buck to have we the love people. to you mm -hmm. it was this person it was this person because mm -hmm. i had a feel of it when my mother died a lot happened and you could see that oh some people were blaming you know and uh, see we all knew the journey we all knew what happened mm -hmm. we all could preempt things mm -hmm. all right but the truth is um, it's normal, it's common for people mm. to want to push 
and so, then so it's so person is responsible for no, it. No, no, nobody. Even if somebody was responsible for it, you cannot bring back the loss. Yeah. So um, when you have accepted and you want to own the reality mm. of the situation, mm. then self acceptance is very important in your in your recovery. Self acceptance. Now, now mm. a lot of people lose themselves in the process of a loss. Do you get it? something happened to you it came to um leave a gap of vacuum and all but people now allow themselves their real to person go. to go with it then they become a shadow of themselves. of themselves they can't function they become to talk about yesterday yes hmm. they can't talk about the future hmm. they can't, they can't express see the future. themselves now now before you get to the point where you're going to accept yourself it's a process but you determine how long the mm. process goes on for. Mm. Yeah. It's not going to be something that will happen on the spot. You determine how long it goes on for. So um, you need to be able to accept self-acceptance. All right. This is the reality. This is my reality. Then I need to um, recognize the aspect of me in this. How has this, you know, this, how has this affected me or how is this going to affect me? Now you're beginning to come back to yourself. It's no longer about the lost item, the lost job, the lost individual. It is now about you or even maybe a lost relationship. Mm. You have to come back to you because um, you matter mm. more. So in the, all of the equation, the person that still matters the most is you. It's you. Yes, it's you. Because mm -hmm. um, it happened to you and it was targeted at you. Mm -hmm. So you must focus on you. Yeah. You know, one of the things I tell people is, please, this is the season where you have to be selfish with yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Be selfish with your stability, with your mental um, sanity, with your health and everything, because it still comes down to you. It's basically so when you have been able to analyze that then you go back to i need professional help because when you lose something you lose someone or something leaves you you become helpless you are mm. going to be weak you don't have any energy again mm. you don't have strength again mm. yes you know the strength is there but you can't you just need someone to, to jumpstart you. Let me put it that way. Basically, yeah, yeah, to couple energy with you and help you to roll back, back to your journey as mm. you try to recover. You can see it's a process. You know, people ask mm. me, is it possible for me to re recover? And I tell them, yes. They are like, I don't so think it's possible. But mm. it is. It's possible to recover. Mm. You know, and um, when you have, you know, professional help, get help you need that support whether emotional support whether financial support all right whether uh, As social a support fact, I think when you lose something you shouldn't add financial stress to it you especially should at that time yeah 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 mm. so you need help you need to start looking into your circle so as an individual if you cannot find help from your circle then you have been wrongly associated for a long time for a long time mm. so it's time to sit back with yourself really because when you talk about recovery you want to buy back yourself mm. and you cannot go on with the same baggage mm. you mm. have to mm. that's what i'm talking about because something has happened to, to you. you to alter the scheme of things so you, you have to alter what exactly that, that is. journey mm. and shed some weight mm. you can't continue mm. with the same people including family members mm. They may not be able to help you. Truthfully, so you have to come in most to cases, your feet. They're usually not even able to help stand you. Stand and look for ways to find help. So when you have been able to discover who can help me, then revisit yourself. Because the moment you are sure you're getting help, then there is a ray of hope. Mm. Even if mm. you have not reached that journey, you you've know? not reached the destination, mm. there is a ray of hope. That okay, you will Tony get is there. I me. can call her. Mm. The last time you said I should come to your house, that I went to mm -hmm. your house. It was a moment of, you know, you just said, let's go to my house. And mm. we went. True. I went to relax. True. 
you know that is not as if an issue was fixed but mm. it was that there Tomisi was that is there company. you could mm. find someone to say yes i want to revisit myself mm. then at that point you now take a good look of yourself mm. is this me okay mm. is this me is this my real person okay take a picture of who you used to be who you used to be some of your Do beautiful comparison. pictures mm. some of your lovely moments and compare it with, with now. What you are now is this what you want to continue to be who is going to associate with this kind of person you know mm. like you are talking to yourself to come back to, to your real person because your real person is mm. sweet your soul is beautiful, beautiful. so you don't mm. you can't sit back there make a list mm. personal list mm. of what you want to do who you want to be how you want to go about it we need to go and then we, we need keep to go everything together thank you so much for me more again for educating us um, solely on how we can recover from loss this morning i really must appreciate you for uh, you this for lot of knowledge you keep pouring house. out on the bumper breakfast we appreciate you yes we'll be back here again tomorrow and don't forget my question for tomorrow is would you as a man marry a woman who has refused who says she doesn't want to have children my name is tommy Sujo. keep safe have a beautiful day mm -hmm.